Hello guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to use type in Adobe XD. So as we're back in the wireframe kit, we can zoom in, which by the way, it's, uh, I'm using command and the scroll wheel, but you can also use command plus. Um, we're going to select a type. So let's, uh, let's select this layer. <clears throat> and the one thing that we're going to do is uh, go on the right panel. And as you can see, there is this text section. And in the text section, the first option you have is the font. So you can, you can change the font directly from here. Um, and uh, you can uh, kind of experiment around with the sizing with uh, this value over here. And uh, you can simply select it and uh, use the arrow key and uh, this will allow you to change the size uh, in an interactive way so you can actually see uh, what you're doing directly in the canvas and uh, by the way the, this number is, is referred to pixels so in this case this is 16 pixels and of course you can change uh, the weight of uh, the font and uh, depending on the font type you're going to see different weights so we can change it back to bold for example and uh, in this uh, section uh, just below, you can change the uh, alignment. So if you make this a little bit bigger and we change the alignment to this, it's going to center it. It's gonna be uh, right aligned. And uh, yeah, this basically is going to allow you to change the alignment. And uh, if you go back here, you can see that uh, you can either select the area text or the point text this is going to change the um, intersection and the selection. One more thing about the text is that you can uh, change the um, character spacing. So if we select the text and we um, add some character spacing, you can see that uh, by doing this, the space between one character and another is going to uh, be bigger as um, and um, yeah basically this is going to allow you to achieve uh, different uh, um, options and uh, let's bring it down back to zero and uh, one more thing that you can do is uh, you can change the, li the line height so this uh, option is going to allow you to change the uh, height between uh, one line of text and uh, the other line of text and of course you can also make uh, it underlined. Now this is it for uh, the text options and one more thing that uh, you should focus on is the appearance. Um, the first thing that you see under appearance is the opacity. So the less uh, the opacity, uh, the less visible the text layer is going to be and you can change this uh, directly from here and you can also change the fill. So if for example, you want to make this uh, of uh, this other color, you can simply select it. You can also change the opacity directly from here. And uh, you can also add borders to the font, which is not usually something that you're, you're gonna do often, but maybe for some headlines or for achieving some specific uh, effects, uh, you can consider that. And you also have the shadow option which you can uh, uh, regulate and uh, adjust uh, directly from here and by tweaking the x uh, and uh, the y axis according to your specific needs and of course also the blur so this is going to uh, uh, differentiate the blur and um, yeah this is uh, pretty much it uh, when it comes to the basics of uh, the textiles in Adobe XD. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed to this course in which you're going to um, learn Adobe XD from uh, the beginning stages all the way to the very advanced points, uh, feel free to do so. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.